We've been spending a lot of time over the last few days covering right-wing media's response to the FBI raid of Mar-a-Lago and the way that they've been spreading all these conspiracies and pretending like this is the worst thing in the world and that this is a complete violation of our laws and our constitution. And obviously that has all been discussed and is completely untrue. But interesting moment occurred on Fox News, on Fox and Friends, where Steve Ducey seems to also be fed up with the lies, even though he's a conservative himself. He's on Fox and Friends. He's one of the hosts. And he's talking to minority whip of the Republican caucus, Steve Scalise, and just lets that be known and kind of asks some really good questions, which I was proud of for, you know, Fox News. So here, here it goes. The FBI with 35,000 uh, members, you know, now they are apparently are receiving, a lot of specific field agents are receiving specific death threats because there are a number of people online and elsewhere who are demonizing the, the FBI. So uh, Steve Deuce, he's laying out the facts there. The FBI is being heavily demonized by the right for really no reason, just because they don't like the fact that Trump might possibly get held accountable. And that's and the demonization of the FBI in an attempt to cover for Trump is causing the FBI to get all these violent threats and stuff like that. And so he's about to ask the question about consistency, where it's like you guys pretend to back the blue, you pretend to be for law enforcement, but then this federal law enforcement organization is now the subject of your uh, viciousness, and that's pretty contradictory, eh? Right. And some Republicans, Paul Gosselaar, a Republican in your caucus from Arizona, said we must destroy the FBI. We must save America. I stand with Donald Trump. Marjorie Taylor Greene says defend the FBI. I'm just curious, whatever happened to the Republican Party backing the blue and in particular the 35 members of law enforcement, federal law enforcement at the FBI? Yeah, and frankly, we're, we're very strong in supporters of law enforcement, and it concerns everybody if you see some agents go rogue, and if you see an agency that doesn't have the right checks and balances at the top. This is coming Steve, from the who top. Went this rogue? who went rogue? Right they were following a search warrant. Great time to butt in um, from Steve Ducey, because Steve Scalise goes, yeah, no, we're huge supporters of law enforcement. That's why it's so concerning whenever FBI agents go rogue. It's like, wh what? Who went rogue? As Steve Ducey said, they were uh, executing a search warrant. They had a warrant and they were going through and doing the normal process they do when they get a warrant to do a raid like that. So wh what are you talking about? And Steve Scalise's answer is hilarious. We want to find that out. We want to find that out. And that <laughs> who who went? Wait, 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 wait. You said someone went rogue. Who went rogue? They were just following a search warrant. Yeah, we want to figure that out. No, wait, 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 wait. No, <laughs> there's no evidence. There's no uh, details that would support even the initial assertion that any FBI agents went rogue, that uh, that operation was wrong in any way. But then you answer with, yeah, we're trying to figure that out. We're, <laughs> we're trying to find some evidence to the claims we're making uh, instead of vice versa, making claims because we have the evidence. But uh, whatever. And that's why we're asking these questions, because, you know, there were reports yesterday that Merrick. OK, so then he goes on to kind of just continue spewing. But good moment there. Good job, Steve Ducey, uh, being honest on Fox News for a little bit there, uh, which if uh, among the three hosts of Fox and Friends, Steve Ducey is the most likely sometimes to inject a little bit of reason, um, even though most of the time he's kind of on board with the normal normal narratives. But I think this is so absurd watching people spin all these crazy narratives and now put all these FBI agents' lives in danger and all the flooding of violent threats that are going to them. And we saw the guy in Cincinnati go armed to the FBI office. Luckily, he didn't end up hurting anybody, but um, he was trying to, got in a gunfire exchange with the FBI. And this is real stuff. And they're completely spinning this narrative out of nothing, and it's causing real world damage. Um, but obviously, most of them don't care. But right there, Steve Ducey did. And uh, some credit to him for that.